back to Transition TV. My name is Paul, I'm one of your presenters, and this is... Hello, my name is Caleb. We have an action-packed episode today, speaking to Mr Bennett, our head of Transition, and a range of you seven people who will tell you about life at Del Sol. It's been a really, really interesting term at the Academy. I've had the pleasure of visiting nearly every year five and six pupils from our feeder schools, and it's been lovely to be welcomed into the schools. I did promise a special mention to year five and six St Teresa's, big thumbs up, and also to Our Lady St Swithams, year five boys, and to Crockett Primary, big thumbs up. We celebrated Children in Need Day, which is always a highlight of the Academy calendar, but our boys came in in various costumes to raise money for such a good cause. Staff took an active part in that. We had cake sales, we had raffles. There was lots of fun and it was a really, really wonderful day. We also, as usual, celebrated Remembrance Day. Our boys brought in plastic bottles, which were created and transformed into poppies and were used in the city centre. Such an amazing achievement. We've had a whole host of excellent curriculum opportunities on offer for our boys and now we're getting ready to celebrate Christmas. So without further ado, let's bring on some of our amazing, outstanding Year 7 boys who will tell you all about what the first term at the Dallas Hill Academy is like. Introducing our first Year 7 pupil, Leighton. Hello Leighton. Hello. Okay, Leighton, could you tell our audience at home and remember this is lots of year five and six boys who are still in primary school. What primary school did you go to, Leighton? St. Philomena's. Hi, everyone there. <laughs> well done, Leighton. And Leighton, can you tell me why you chose the Dallas Hall Academy? Because it just seemed appealing to me. It, it seemed nice. It seemed luxury. Can you tell the audience back at school, Harry, why did you choose to come to the Dallas Hall Academy? I chose to come here because I felt... It was, a it was the closest school to my home, so I wouldn't be late. Mm -hmm. uh, I thought that I could find friends and like, and have good lessons with the teachers. And what appealed to you about our academy? Can you tell us maybe one thing? The teachers, the lessons, just the overall place of the school. Lovely. And since you've started the Dallas Hall Academy lately, would you say you've had a lot of support settling into the high school routines? Yeah, I thought, I thought I wouldn't be able to bounce back as fast as I did, but I have already. And did you make lots of new friends when you come to the academy? Yes, okay. I did. And tell us a little bit about Mr Clifford, because he's your head of year and he'll be the head of year for year seven next year. Mr Clifford is a very good teacher. He's very strict, but very funny at the same time. Marks out of ten, if you had to give it to Dallas Hall Academy a mark out of ten, what would you give it? I think just a ten. Okay, and would you recommend the academy to other boys? Yes, I would. And finally, what's your favourite subject and why? Uh, I really like PE or Spanish, uh, because in PE I like doing a bit of exercise, playing football, doing handball, rugby. Uh, it's a lot of sports in office, isn't it, Harry? Yeah, and for Spanish, I really like learning new languages, and it helps me in case I go anywhere. And to our audience at home, why don't you say goodbye to them in Spanish? Adios. So I want to thank you all for tuning in to this second episode of Transition TV. I'm sure you'll agree that our students are the jewel in the crown of the academy. And I'd like to thank the boys for coming over and taking part today. Looking forward to the new year. We hope when we can to invite all of our year five pupils and all of our year six pupils to have a taste today in the academy to see what we've got on offer, maybe to work out in our gym, try some jiu-jitsu, work with our cadets, but more importantly, to experience the high academic standards we have at the Dallas Hall Academy. So, until our next episode in the new year, I'd like to wish you all a happy, safe and prosperous new year. And may the peace of Christ be with you all. Semper Fidelis.